Okay, the galactic mushroom. So um, the divine matrix, I feel like you're, you're jumping timelines here, okay? You're out of the 3D matrix. Now you're starting to see everything clearly. It's like you have a bird's eye view is what I'm getting, a bird's eye view on everything. Like you're starting to see things in nature as well. Like something's not right. Or so you can feel something is about to happen. You're getting um, a lot of uh, hidden knowledge right now. Uh, I feel like things are starting to get your attention that didn't before, you know? You're starting to see through the matrix now. And now you're at, you're at, it's almost like you've been elevated and you get to look down on everything and see exactly what's going on, like everywhere. Okay, so um, in nature, in the weather, weather changes, um, you're starting to predict, you know, what's about to, what's, what's coming for us in the next year or two, whatever. Um, you're like on high ground here with the ability to overview, like see everything clearly, okay? Repairing the body, mind, spirit. So I feel like you're going through some kind of change, I have to say, and I feel like spirit is, like if you were sick before, you, you may um, realize that you're healing very quickly. Your hair could be growing longer, thicker, your nails could be growing longer, thicker, okay? Um, I feel like um, you're being regenerated. You're being um, uh, replenished. But you're also, I, I feel like your body's going through some changes as well, okay? Like these healing changes or it's almost like at a, at a metabolic level, Okay. And, I, and I'm getting that, you know, when we, when we gain all this knowledge and we see things from a higher perspective, I feel like changes in our bodies happen as well. Um, things are firing differently in your mind now than what they were before. You're totally being elevated. You could be experiencing some um, ascension symptoms right now, possibly, you know, dizziness, fatigue maybe headaches, um, your ears ringing, right? Um, things like that, uh, really intense dreams. Maybe you're sleeping a lot, um, taking a lot of baths as well. Something about your skin may start becoming a lot more sensitive. That's, that's already happened to me a couple of times. It, it keeps... Um, I don't know. It keeps getting, my skin keeps getting more and more sensitive to fabrics. You may notice that you want to take a more natural approach when it comes to the things that you wear, the things that you eat, the way that you um, dress, maybe the makeup that you, you may ad, end up going like natural, like a more natural way. Yeah, you're, you're definitely the divine feminine here. Here's the thing, though. Um, I'm seeing, like, one name on it, okay? Let's just say this is one name. M many, many are called, but few are chosen. I feel like you had to, the ones who actually made it through judgment are the ones who put the work into themselves, and I feel like that's what you did, Divine Feminine. You put the work in, you learned your lessons, and you kept learning. You kept learning about your spiritual path, and you kept learning about ways to heal yourself and your spirit guides and how to cleanse your energy. You kept learning, right? Um, and you stayed true to your path, and you, you never wavered in your faith, right? You listened to the messages, and you, you trusted in your intuition and the divine. And because of that, you made it, but not many people did. Okay, and now um, I feel like it's like you're being crowned or something here. Spirit's celebrating you on the 5D. Um, but at the same time, they're bumping you up. You're getting heightened abilities maybe or discovering that you have a new ability. For some of you, it could be something like telekinesis. Okay. Like, you may have the ability to move this bubble with your mind. 
all right? This headdress here, this is telling me that you're held in high regard of, by the divine, okay? So I feel like also you may be getting a new spirit guide that's introduced to you uh, maybe within the next week. Okay, I know with me, um, my spirit guides each have like, um, they each have like a, some kind of area that they help me in. Okay, one helps me with speech, one helps me with my confidence, one helps me with having fun, all right? And not working too hard, taking that time for myself. Um, and one is comic relief. I mean, and I have a protector. I, I feel like there's a new soulmate connection that's being brought in for you for a specific area that you may have even asked for help with, okay? This could be a protector. It could be anybody who helps you in, you know, like maybe you... Um, maybe you have anxiety and you're wanting help with that, right? This new, this new soul or this new, um, spirit guide is going to come in and help you with that, right? I feel like you've prayed for the, to the divine for some kind of help. And there's somebody new coming into your spiritual team that's there to help you with that. I'm also feeling like, um, you know, you're spending a lot of time, like, nurturing yourself right now. You could be in a time of just wanting to rest, um, wanting some time for yourself, okay? Getting closer to the divine because they, they need to have you really close to get all these. I, you're getting downloads. You're getting prepared for a new, like, a new mission here because you made it. And it, not many names are on this list. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like um, treasures hidden in the shadows. I feel like that's what you were. I feel like people didn't see what you were capable of. You know, um, you may have been very humble, right? Um, maybe you didn't dress very fancy. Like, I'm not fancy schmancy, you guys. I, sh I go shopping at, like, Goodwill and... Secondhand stores, I love that stuff. Thrift shops, you know, I dress for comfort. You know, if I if I need to dress up, I can shine up like a brand new penny, right? But, um, you know, I feel like you're very down to earth. You're very earthy. I'm feeling this earthy energy. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe. But I feel like you, your abilities, you kind of kept well hidden from people, or maybe they didn't notice, or people could have thought you were crazy, okay, for because of your intuitive abilities. You know, maybe they didn't see that you were actually of, like, royal bloodlines here. They didn't see that. And now I feel like now is the time Spirit wants you to let all of that shine, okay? Let the world see how special you are. Let them see that you're one of the 144,000. You know, let them see that you're a chosen one. You know, you may want to be, you may be thinking about um, putting your, like telling people your story, putting it out there on the internet, right? To share what you've learned and your experiences with other people to help them. Because I'm seeing a lot of work being done on your throat chakra. It almost feels like there may have been a blockage at one point, or maybe you just didn't want to tell your story or something, but I feel like you, Spirit wants you to be confident and do that fearlessly, okay? I, I'm getting the sense that somebody here may have some kind of stage fright as well. Um, and I'm also feeling like um, the energy of somebody who sings and maybe there was something like you were sick or something and yet, you know, um, your throat was raspy or something like that. That's about to be healed. Spirit's repairing too. Um, repairing and rejuvenating your body. Okay, there's a, you're going through a lot of physical and, and spiritual changes right now. I just want you to be aware of that. Okay, so here's the thing. Like I said, you've completed a cycle. You've learned your lessons. You have passed all your tests. 
You've passed through judgment. That's uber important. That means you've paid your karmic debt, man. You're, you're clear. All right? You've completed this cycle. You're the one person who made it on that list, okay? Many are, are chosen, or many are called, but few are chosen. You were chosen. Now, okay, you've proven yourself worthy of this path, okay? And now new doors of opportunity are opening up for you. Look at all this light. The door's opening. You've, you're like the key that unlocked this door. And things are about to change here as well with the five. So spirit is repairing whatever damage um, was incurred to your body, your mind, um, spiritually, right? They're repairing all of that right now. You're going through a lot. There's a lot of, it feels like um, metabolic changes, like for real. Oh. I'm getting like ascended master energy, okay? Seeing you like you're above the the 3D matrix now. Now you're um it's you're elevating closer to the 5D, okay? Who really strong intense energy for and as I as I take a deep breath it says first breath. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that's sort of a confirmation. So this is a beginner's mind. This is you building, right? Um, it's almost like you're building a little erector set in your head. Like do we, all of a sudden you have the ability, you've been given the ability here to see your future as a blueprint. And you in your mind, you're building that blueprint, okay? This is you manifesting your dreams, working with the cosmos like for real working with the power of the cosmos in like 5d thinking okay oh my gosh you're being so upgraded here um so yeah you're working with the cosmos to create the uh, um, the life that you want and i feel like it's already pre-written for you but you're manifesting here right your life is about to change, and you, you're, the, you're so powerful right now. Um, you have this masterful manifestation power, okay? Knowing who you are, right? I feel like fear is being tossed out the window because the cosmos is showing you everything. Opening your, not just doors of opportunity for you, but opening your mind. That's what this is. Opening your mind. So literally, it almost feels like you're, you're seeing the blueprint in your head, okay? You know what they're showing me, you guys, is um, it's from the movie Iron Man. You know, oh my gosh, I love Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Um, anyway, in the movie Iron Man, you know how he's like, he's standing there and he's got these like, I don't know, some kind of monitoring system in the air, right? And he's, like, doing this thing with his fingers, right? Um, like, changing things around, his, his, touching everything, and moving, spinning things around. That's what you're doing here. Is that not what it reminds you of? Because that's the movie scene that they're showing me. Um, and that's what this is. All of a sudden, you've been given this new found ability or new sight, like your eyes are wide open, man. Um, you're seeing through the matrix on the on the 3D from from a higher standpoint. Okay, completely leveled up, being rejuvenated too of anything that you've lost. So if you, like if you've lost your energy, that's going to be coming back um, even more powerful than before. If you've lost any confidence or any kind of creative ability, oh, geez, that's coming back big time. Um, yeah, radical acceptance. Here's the thing. What I'm feeling off of this is a lot of fury. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of jealousy off of this card, okay? Jealousy, envy, rage, a lot of chaos, okay? It's radical um, behavior, Radical ways of thinking. I feel like somebody out there is having a hard time accepting 
uh, this massive change in you. They're having a hard time accepting the fact that maybe you're like 10 steps ahead of them. Okay, Pete, you're making people kind of go nutty in behind the scenes. Okay, because you're you're changing and you're you're moving up and you're elevating and they can see this. It's it's radical changes that you're making and it's causing a radical chaos. Yeah, look, rest and renewal. And I feel like you're extremely abundant, very intuitive. Maybe that's what the problem is. People are freaked out over your intuition and the things that you see and the way you see them. It's the way you see things, I feel, that's important right now, okay? Because you are seeing things from a higher perspective. Spirit is elevating you, okay? Um, and there's others that don't like this. They don't like it that you're spot on with your intuition. They don't like it that you have spiritual abilities. They don't like it that you're a powerful manifester. They don't like it that you see things differently, okay? But you see things correctly, you know? Um, so, yeah, you've got some jealous haters out there. Uh, getting back to integrity, yeah, look, these people, I'm telling you, Whoever this is that's upset um, with these changes that are happening with you, um, they're lost. They don't have a moral compass. They don't know what, it's, what it is to have integrity, okay? These are people who are, they are feeling lost. And I feel like because the universe was trying to work with everybody and these people didn't listen, you know? But I feel like it says here, confidence in your magic. I feel like um, they see the truth about you. And now you are confident. You know you have these awesome abilities, you know. I just, they keep showing me the, the schematics right in front of you of your life. And you're like, you know, building it with your mind. Um, that's crazy. You could be... Um, you could be like an architect or something like that. Something about technology as well. I feel like, here's the thing, spirit is working with how your mind is firing, okay? You may be noticing maybe little, like, quick little pains or maybe tingles through your scalp. Things like that, okay? If you feel weird about anything, please don't hesitate to get medical assistance and attention, okay? But, I mean, I feel like those are some of the things you're going to be feeling. A lot of ringing in your ears or hearing high-frequency noises. Um, noise, noises may actually kind of give you some anxiety right now. If you're in like a really busy restaurant and there's just a lot of talking all at once. It may start coming towards you, like coming to you as more like a frequency. And um, it may make you uncomfortable. Anytime you're uncomfortable right now, you should leave that area. Okay? Because honestly, I feel like you're going through a lot. Um, I'm trying to pick up on everything else you could be going through. You could be having some pains in your eyes right now as well. You may be noticing that your eyesight is getting better and improving. You're going to be noticing a lot of improvements, changes in the way you look. You could end up um, receiving like a new marking or something. Um, or you could be, somebody here could be getting a tattoo, okay? To mark this occasion in your life and everything that you've been through. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm, I'm really feeling that grounded, um, stable energy here from you. Like, oh, it's almost like you know what spirit is doing. You know what they're doing, uh, and they're, they're, they're making changes not only in your mind, 
um, but also in your physical body. Okay. Balanced, yeah, just remain balanced. You may want to get outside, um, get grounded, be, remain stable, right? Yeah, I even feel like your balance is starting to improve here. Honestly, I feel like there may have been a, a point where you were fighting off some kind of bad energy that was being sent to you by this hater. Um, and now you've broken through that. So, yeah, you may feel very balanced, very I know what I need to do kind of energy, right? I know what I need to do. Um, completely in your north node. A lot of visions. You could be having a lot of visions right now at this time. You're getting like, I keep hearing um, like intergalactic. Um, the cosmos, like cosmic knowledge is coming to you. Okay, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, and a revelation, an unmarked trail, and boldly going, yeah, now, see, Spirit's taking you farther. They're just taking you farther on your journey, but with this new mission or with whatever it is that, that is about to happen for you in your life, Spirit is sending you a lot of messages, a lot of downloads, um, um, repairing your body, your mind, um, repairing everything. And you're going to have some kind of revelation. Like this is that revelation of who you truly are. Okay. Who you really, really are. Like, um, you could get some kind of confirmation, um, I've been doing my thrift store shopping, and when I go out, I'm getting all kinds of confirmations um, on how we were warriors and how we're being crowned. And, I mean, yeah, you're going to be getting a confirmation of this, and you're going to be feeling it, and you're going to recognize the changes. Um, you're going to, there's going to be a moment for you where you kind of, it hits you, like, I know exactly who I am. I know exactly what I need to do. And I am going to do it fearlessly because I don't have anything to fear. Right? I mean, you're literally seeing clearly through any kind of illusions. Okay? Yeah, needing direction. You're surrendering. You're surrendering completely to the divine. Okay? And you're gonna you're gonna have an overflow of plenty. Um, I feel like the abundance you're gonna receive, you know. And here's those schematics that I'm seeing in this water. The abundance you're gonna receive is gonna be mind boggling. <laughs> you like it's just gonna start flowing to you. It's gonna overflow. I'm also seeing this as spiritual abilities as well. Okay, that may overwhelm you right now. Because here's that schematic I keep seeing right here. All these little dots and... Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I feel like um, it may, you may have a moment where you feel a bit overwhelmed. But boy, there is no second guessing yourself in this reading. I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, this is flipping awesome. And I feel like you're about to have somebody new approach you, okay? This is the Wheel of Fortune, right? Um, some kind of luck at the right time. Somebody new sees you or discovers you. This is a stranger. This is somebody that's new that you haven't met yet. They see you and they. I feel like you're attracting this new person to you right now. The doors are open. A new opportunity comes in. A new person comes in. Okay? Yeah. It's just, it's like it feels like a, a complete breakthrough. Okay? Oh, my gosh. You are being elevated to... Um, it's just, it's... A, it's you're being put on a pedestal here. 
like an ascended master is really the feeling that I'm getting. You're being elevated to like an ascended master. And you're about to start a new cycle here. New beginnings. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe Gemini. This new person coming in could also be a Gemini. And your life is about to change. This is a new beginning for you. Look at, we've got a five here, a five here with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, so get ready. A new opportunity is coming in for you. New opportunities, new soulmate connection, a new beginning for you. All of this new stuff opens up. I feel like you are so intuitive. Somebody may even want to come back around and reconcile with you, but I feel like now it's too late. Okay, there's a lot of people that can't come where you're going. Okay. Many were called, but few were chosen because they didn't do the work that they had to do. They didn't pass their tests. They didn't pass through judgment. Yeah, I feel like there's a whole group of people who um, are in a karmic storm, okay? Uh, watching you, right? Um, watching what you're doing, feeling envious, feeling jealous. There's a whole group of people that can't come on, on the path that you're walking, all right? Um, yeah, and I feel like um, they were hollow. You know, teachability is what it says here. Spirit tried to tell them. They tried to teach these people. You may have tried to teach these people, and they didn't listen. They were hollow. Okay? So they're being hung out to dry. They're getting their karma. Look at these black feathers are being plucked right out of this crow. Okay? And hung up. I'm telling you. There's a whole community of people, a whole group. Um, yeah, they can't cross that path. They can't go on the same journey with you. They cannot go where you're going. They want to come in and get back together, or they they want to they want to come on your journey. They want to come towards towards you and be on this path, but they can't. So because they're hollow, they didn't um, they didn't learn the lessons. They didn't retain any of the information, and they're still out there hating you, okay? Sorry about that, Divine Feminine. My battery died. Um, on the bottom of the deck is gestation period. These people, um, they needed to go through a transformation. They haven't done that yet. They can't come with you where you're going, okay? They cannot come with you where you're going. Um, let's get your advice. I feel like you need to just be kind and flexible with yourself right now. Okay. Um, because you are being worked on, you're being repaired, you're being, um, restored, elevated. So a lot is going on with your body and your mind right now. Okay. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, new life. See, a lot is going on with your body and your mind. Okay? Um, it's, it's bringing you to a, a, like a complete elevation here. Spirit puts you on a pedestal. But this is, this is kind of um, heavy, too. It's heavy energy. So uh, you may be experiencing some neck pain, possibly headaches. And I feel like I'm hitting that on the head because you're like, I was wondering what this was all about. Yes, but I, like I said, don't hesitate to um, go to a doctor, you know, if you feel like you have to. Yeah, this is, this is where you start a new cycle. And all of this new energy, new um, downloads, new information, a new way of seeing everything from a whole new perspective, I feel like... Um, all of this is happening to you right now, okay? <laughs> new energy coming in for you. So get ready for this new life, okay? And they're bumping you up in a lot of different areas, all right? 
um, your sleep patterns may change. The things that you eat, you're going to start eating more natural, organic foods, I think. Um, your taste buds are changing. The sensitivity in your skin is changing. Your eyesight could be changing. I mean, so look, exchanging gifts. I was just saying, I'm telling you, um, spirit is giving you some heightened abilities, some new gifts, okay? Um, yeah, and manifestation abilities big time here. Pay close attention to your dreams as well. I feel like you're about to get some blessings that you've been wishing for. Spirit's definitely giving you all that you need. They're equipping you with whatever you need for this, for this new phase in your life. Know that. Yeah, big changes, courtesy of the divine. But you went, you went by the book. See, you, you listened. You trusted your information or your intuition. You trusted the information the divine was giving you and you allowed them to lead you. You surrendered. And um, your loyalty, your dedication, all the effort you put in, all the lessons you learned, I'm telling you, it's, it's, um, you've passed. You passed, collective, okay? You passed. Oh, but boy, are you going through some changes, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I feel like I need to take this into the extended, I got to say. I want to see what's coming for you in love. I want to check out this this um, new person, and I want to see what these people from, the, from your past, the ones who can't come with you, I want to see what they're planning to do next, okay? 